As we've grown in number, we've continuously widened ecosystems and have successfully distanced ourselves from nature. The gap, it seems, ever widening. Separating humans from nature. What separates humans from the rest of the natural world is the complexity of our brains. In particular, the complexity that allows us the arrogance to imagine we are somehow apart from nature. This is a false and dangerous perception of otherness. For as long as humans have existed, we have manipulated our environments to our advantage in order to protect our frailties. We've gathered plants, but mostly those that tasted good. We've hunted animals, but have chosen those that have proven both easiest to kill or most rewarding. We've used fire to clear brush and encouraged the growth of favorite foods. We've carried seeds and spores with us, having lost a few here and there, having introduced new species to new areas. We've tamed our preferred plants and animals and named them crops and livestock. We've moved things around for shelter, for comfort, to divert water and to lure or exclude other animals. We've processed nature to give physical structure to our social groups. As we've grown in number, we've continuously widened ecosystems and have successfully distanced ourselves from nature, the gap, it seems, ever widening. As we've altered our worldview to set ourselves apart from the natural world, we've chosen to ignore the simple reality that exploitation and competition are characteristics of all things living on Earth. Some species are just more dramatic about it than others. In fairness, humans actually are a remarkable species with remarkable capabilities. We are able to express complex ideas and we are capable of forethought. We are masterful at creating comfort and security from merciless and inhospitable surroundings. Our ingenuity and efficiency gives us the leisure time for aesthetic and creative pursuits. Being remarkable, however, does not make us unnatural. Conceptually separating ourselves from nature creates a problem for conservation. Psychologically, it makes it easier for us to justify uh, unsustainable land use and resource consumption. Psychologically, protecting nature and natural processes may be easily seen as choosing nature over human progress. The argument against conservation as acting against the best interest of human population becomes palpable despite scientific evidence to the contrary. The perception of otherness sets up conflict. It creates an either-or dichotomy that is neither authentic nor useful. It may take a cultural revolution and a large dose of humility, but we humans must start thinking of ourselves as an integral part of nature. Life as we know it, in all its various forms, depends on it.